And quickly switching over to the Bellator card. In the main event this weekend, we have Usman Nurmagomedov taking on Brent Primus. That is a lightweight title fight. I think it's a very stiff challenge for Primus going up against arguably one of the toughest 55ers pound for pound, or, or excuse me, not pound for pound, but yeah, on the planet right now, regardless of the promotion. I think if you threw Usman Nurmagomedov into the UFC realm, he's going to compete. I don't know if to say that he is right now to, excuse me, right now today, if he beats guys like Islam or Charles, but he'd compete. Yeah, he will. And especially he's sitting right now at seventeen and zero. The kids, uh, the kids got some sauce to him, and he's going to continue to try to make the rise up those Bellator ranks and establish himself for as big of a position in the final days of that company as you can, because. Who knows? Rumors say Bellator might be done at the end of the year. But if it's not, he's still going to be that guy forging forward for him. In the co-main event, we have Chris Cyborg taking on the Colorado native Kat Zingano. Kat Zingano and Chris Cyborg will be duking it out for the women's featherweight title. This is a fight that pretty much as soon as they were both under that Bellator banner, I think most of us fight fans were wanting this fight to happen. Whether it was through some of the earlier circumstances that didn't let this fight happen between injuries, personal reasons, uh, shooting a movie, whatever it might have been through that time, they weren't able to make it happen before. They're making it happen now. So this is a, a huge opportunity for Kat to say, you know, I know she has, a, she still has a lot of roots or a lot of connections and people out here in the Colorado scene. So. You know, that's a, that's a big fight right there for her. You have another women's title fight. So not one, not two, but three title fights. There was supposed to be a fourth, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later. But three title fights for the Bellator 300 card. The third of those three is Liz Carmouche taking on the former champion, Alimale McFarlane. Now, this is a fight, though, Miguel, that I don't know how to... I don't know how to really analyze it up front i know how to or i could put it together when it's them without any sort of outside circumstances but with the tragedy that's just gone on in hawaii mm -hmm. with alimale mcfarland like that that's her people like that that's her mana the hawaiian people with the fires and all the destruction that's happened i feel like there's going to be one of two ways that she comes out she's going to come out either extremely expired or ex inspired and put on one of the fights of her life and just a masterpiece type of performance just gutsy if you will or she might put so much of that pressure on herself that she freezes i don't think it's going to be the latter especially with her being so technically capable but i don't know i think that that's a re that's something that you know especially for those who like taking action on fights you got to weigh that in yeah um look at max holloway he uh he did a great performance um and i think it's gonna the same with her as well yeah it's it's uh it's it's always different with everyone but that's a, a great comparable right there right before we hit the break we just want to throw a quick spotlight on a couple of other fighters out there you have denver's grant neal making his middleweight debut against the wrestling standout romero cotton you have henry corrales taking on kai boy kamaka the third that's guaranteed to be a banger fight i mean just looking at the the bout sheet that to me screams fight of the night right there you have two guys who are basically a killer be killed type of style. We have friend of the show, Jenna Bishop on the card and undefeated rising prospect, the former Wyoming wrestling standout, Bryce, the misfit Meredith. He's looking to keep his perfect record intact. This wraps up our MMA fight card preview for the week. Folks stick around after the break. This is the MMA plug on 98.1 FM mile high sports radio. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like share and subscribe button that helps us continue to produce this original MMA content and bring it for you every single week. Tune in to the MMA plug presented by Fan on 98.1 FM mile high sports radio.